Hello, and on this video presented by www.freeacademy.com, we're going to make f of x continuous under the following conditions. A. f of x equals negative 1 if x is less than or equal to 0. Now I drew this part already, taking this, uh, the y-axis here is 0, which it is. The line is negative 1 everywhere else less than that. And then looking at condition C here, we have x is equal to 1, or f of x is equal to 1 if x is greater than 1. So that's this line right here. Now we need to fit part B, which is ax plus b if x is between 0 and 1. And we need to pick it such that this graph is continuous everywhere. Now remembering back uh, to our discussion of continuity, uh, function is continuous if it's defined at all place and basically if it does what it's supposed to. So in this case, to make f of x continuous, we basically need to connect the dots here. Now you can see that from negative infinity all the way to infinity, f of x is defined everywhere and it also connects everywhere. There's no leaps or jumps or anything of that nature. Now notice here I drew a line instead of some weird curve, which you can draw like you know, this or something like that. The reason that I drew the line is because it gave f of x equals ax plus b. We need to determine a and b so that this is continuous. So we know that at f of x equals ax plus b. Now notice here at f of 0, right here where x is equal to 0, the graph needs to be equal to negative 1. So this is pretty easy to do. We put 0 in for x and we get a times 0 plus b equals negative 1. Now a times 0 is of course equal to 0. So for this case we get that b equals negative 1. Just by doing some very simple algebra there. Now to do, go on to the next part we know that at x of is equal to 1, so we put in 1 in our f of x, that our graph equals positive 1 in order to make this endpoint continuous. So that's equal to ax minus 1. And remember, uh, the reason that we do the minus 1 here is because we already determined that b is equal to negative 1. That should be pretty clear, but just wanted to say it to be safe. So now what we're going to do is add 1 to both sides to get 2 equals ax. Recalling that, you know, x is equal to 1, we can put in 1 for x, and then we get 2 equals a times 1. which of course that's equal to a, so now we've determined that a equals 2. So for a equals 2 and b equal to negative 1, we have found a and b such that f of x is continuous everywhere. Hope this problem was helpful. Keep sending more into us.